Hi everyone, it's Chrissy from the Children's Museum Easton. I'm at home ready to show you a quick activity that you can do with your family. Um, normally we do this at Thanksgiving time, um, but today we are sharing it with you because I have a ton of turkeys in my, in my yard every morning. Um, so I thought, why wait until Thanksgiving to share this activity? This is a fun one to do. So it's making a turkey gobbler. Um, if you have a plastic or paper cup lying around, please find it. Don't go out and buy any plastic or paper cups. We wanna be um, good environmentalists. So we're using what we have. And if you also have um, yarn or string, you'll need that too. What you will want to do is poke a hole in your cup, thread your string through. Um, I always tape the top. Um, when we're at the museum, I usually give um, the kiddos a sticker to put on top of it. Now, as far as decorations, this is your turkey. So this cup isn't the, the greatest looking turkey. So normally what we would do is cover it with brown paper, maybe put um, a little beak on there, um, a wattle on there, whatever you want to do to decorate it. I didn't decorate it. This is just basically the, um, the science behind it. So... What you wanna do also is um, you can either, there's two different ways you can do it. You can either um, cut a small piece of sponge and attach it here. Again, use what you have, don't go out and buy. So I don't have sponges, so um, I don't have the sponge to attach. So instead I just use my, my hands and I'll show you what I do. Um, so you wanna poke it the hole through, attach it to the top, decorate it how you want. And then when you're done, it'll look like this. It, kind of looks like um, like a wind chime or something going on. Um, but that's what the, the, the design is going to look like. So what's happening is um, you're going to be running your, and I hold it up there, your fingers down the string. My dog's in the room and he does not like the sound. So we'll see if we can do it without him barking. Um, we usually at the museum will have like a little cup or a little, um, a little bowl of water so that you can, the kiddos can get their fingers wet. Um, and basically you just rub it down. Um, basically it's the friction of your fingers with the string and it's making that sound. You can do a long one. Or you can do like I do, like the... Um, but it's supposed to be sounding like a turkey. So a super fun one to do, very cute. Obviously around Thanksgiving time, it is a huge hit. Um, but again, didn't want to wait until Thanksgiving, especially when, at least in our yard, we have tons of turkeys. So maybe I'll try this tomorrow and see how it works. Um, but if you, if you design yours and it looks beautiful, it looks like a turkey, um, please take a picture of it and send it to us and we will post it on our Facebook gallery page. But hope you have fun with this one. Um, hopefully it doesn't drive anyone too crazy with the sound, but it's a fun one to do. Have fun and stay safe. Be well.